Okay, announcements, uh, August 6th, board meeting, work session, 6.30 p.m., uh, location to be determined. August 8th is the Back to School Bash, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Crossroads Middle School. August 17th is the teacher's report, no students. August 18th is an in-service day, there's also no students, but all school offices are closed for a district staff meeting from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And on August 19th, students will report. Okay, board member comments. Uh, Mrs. Shorter. Okay, I'm just having all kinds of problems here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been one of those nights. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say thanks to everyone. The report that you guys put together um, for our school's reopening is really good. It's really excellent. It basically allows parents to get a lot of questions answered here. I know this was a lot of work. Um, but I want to just say thank you for taking, um, you know, uh, the comments from the public, um, taking those to heart and really looking at things <clears throat> and coming up with a plan that I think is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with a plan that I think is uh, very good. And I just appreciate the partnership that you guys have allowed to flourish with the community. You've been very um, flexible in looking at different things and. I'm very grateful. This looks, this looks good. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mrs. Shorter. Mr. Begley. Thank you. Uh, I just want to welcome Mr. Crapo and his new job. He certainly had to uh, hit the ground running. And uh, I would thank Mr. Smith and the uh, and the uh, staff that has put together the plan and will continue to modify it. I know it is a full time job in and of itself. Uh, very involved, continue to change, you have to blend in so many outside sources, and redo your plans. And so uh, uh, I, I think you hit on it. We have to stay flexible and you are. And, and uh, just like the last time has changed significantly, I'm sure it'll change again by, uh, by August and by the first day of school. Uh, I look forward to, uh, to your leadership bringing us to that point. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Begley. Mrs. Gendron? Um, I also just wanted to echo uh, what Mr. Shorter and Mr. Bagley said and, and thank everybody involved in this planning. Because I know not only have you put a lot of work into this plan, but you put a lot of work into the backup plan and probably the backup to the backup plan. <laughs> so, um, and I know it's a, an ever changing situation. So I really appreciate all of the effort uh, that you have put into this to, to bring it all together. Thank you, Mrs. Gunter. Mrs. O'Neill. Um, I agree with all those statements. I mean, this is a busy time for teachers in general and a normal year, and this is not a normal year, just preparing for the year that's ahead. Um, not just those of us that are here, but all the teachers and staff in the entire school district. This is normally a busy time, kind of preparing for the year ahead when it's a normal year, and this is not a normal year. So I just appreciate everything that everybody has done above and beyond to, as Mrs. Gundrum said, plan for like option A, option B, option B2, B3, and B4. Um, none of us have been tested like this before, and um, everybody is just rising to the occasion and doing the very best we can with the students needs um, at all of our hearts and I just appreciate that as a parent as a community member as a board member um, I just want to thank everybody for all that they're doing okay thank you um, I also um, want to just say I'm so looking forward to whatever plan we have that we have some sort of schools back in session mm -hmm. I'm very confident that Fairfield City Schools will make sure that it's the best option we have for our students and our families. Also want to say that uh, I've been recruited to be part of the uh, Cannonball for Kids fundraiser for Doug and Ray's at Rolling Hills Swim Club on August the 4th, the Tuesday. And so um, I'm practicing in the backyard on different forms. I don't have any water to cannonball into, but. Nice. 
So I'm um, making sure I safely land. Um, but you can go to their Facebook page and uh, learn more about it. And there's been a $500 bounty put on. What's the date? date? It's August the 4th. August 4th. But I think it's going to be a virtual oh. look in. I don't know okay. that there's going to be attendance from people. Okay. Maybe if you give a certain amount, you'll be allowed to come in. I'm going to check. Not really sure, but I think uh, Mr. Smith is emceeing the event. Is That's that correct? correct. I think he's been challenged to be part of it. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I said, I made it very clear to Ted. Ted, if you're watching, I'll say it again. When it comes to water, I'm all about floats and boats. Floats and boats. <laughs> That's it. Floats and boats. That's where I live on the water. So, Ted... <laughs> That's and what do you agree. have to do? Cannonball? Some sort of cannonball, I guess. Okay. I, I, Amen. I, I don't know. I think that's and awesome. I do believe that Mr. Martin is going to cannonball that awesome. evening. That's, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also other staff members. I know that I'm there, be there. Yes. Yes. there are other staff okay. members. So yes. uh, it should be a great event. It, mm. It's a joint venture between Doug and Ray's Fairfield City School District and the that's Joe Dixall Miracle yes. League Fields. Um, so people can go to the uh, Doug and Ray's Facebook page to their website to make donations to help the people that are doing the cannonballs raise enough money to uh, I think we get to then challenge people or something or there's some sort of fight with noodles or something. I don't know but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to it it, it should be a good time to uh, and uh, to raise money for our, our neediest families so yeah okay and I'm spot you Michael that's that's the only thing I could live up to is I'm gonna sponsor you I'm just worried about if my hairs can get messed up oh get into the pool so you and me both yeah Roger's really worried about that yes. too yeah <laughs> he mentions it to me every day well at, at this time uh, there is a need to recess to executive ex executive session uh, to discuss collective bargaining under Ohio Revised Code 121.22 G4. And at this time, I'll entertain a motion to recess to executive session. I'll make a motion. So moved. And Mr. Begley second. So we have Mrs. O'Neill, Mr. Begley. Any questions or comments from the board? I do not anticipate any action to follow executive session. Mrs. Lane, will you call the roll? Mrs. O'Neill? Yes. Mr. Begley? Yes. Mr. Birding? Yes. Mrs. Gundrum? Yes. Mrs. Shorter? Yes. Okay, we will recess into executive session at 8.20 p.m. Thank you all very much. <laughs>